Hi, Adidas here. Today we're going to show where to find the drivers that you need for your Roland Phantom and then demonstrate how to install them inside your computer. All right, let's get started. So first off, let's begin by going to Roland.com. And once we're in Roland.com, we can just press the products area and bring that down. And then we're going to go to synthesizers. Now that we're in synthesizers, since we are dealing with the Phantom, we're going to go down to performance workstation and click on that. And then once we're here, we can go into any of the different phantoms that are available, either the 8, the 7, or the 6. I'll go ahead and use the 7 in my example. Now that we are here, let's go ahead and scroll down further and pass all the specs, which is a great thing to kind of review. Uh, but then also let's go ahead and go down and we're going to go to Downloads. Once we're in download, you're going to see a lot of different options here for you. Uh, the system program, if so if you haven't updated your Phantom to version 2.0 at the time of this video, please do that. But you also see a multitude of other drivers available to you. Drivers for Windows, drivers for the different Macs. And notice that the Macs, it, it varies depending on which OS you're using. 10.15, 10.14, and others. So in our example, I'll go ahead and choose uh, 10.15. So right here you can read, it's gonna let me know everything that I need to do to get this installed inside my Mac. So all I would do is go ahead and click on the I agree and download that file. And it's gonna download automatically to your computer. All right, let's back up and let's get the other drivers that we're gonna need. So once again, go to downloads. And now I'm gonna go ahead and choose the control surface plugin for Logic. So let's go ahead and click on that one right now. So before we download and install this one, there are certain things you need to make sure you've done inside Logic. For instance, your version of Logic needs to be already updated to 10.4.4 or later. So in order for this to work properly, you need to go ahead and make sure your Logic has been updated to that minimum requirement of 10.4.4. If you're good to go, all you gotta do is select I agree and download. All right, let's back up one more time and grab the driver for main stage. So once again, hit the downloads tab and you're going to go down to the bottom here and grab the profile for main stage. So click on that. And here you go. It's going to give you all the instructions you need for main stage. Once again, you have to make sure you have the most updated version of main stage available just to make sure this works without any issues. Uh, if we look a little bit further, it says it supports main stage 3.4.2 or later. So if you've already updated your main stage to that or it's a later version, you'll, you're good to go. So let's go ahead and agree and download. Okay, so I have my different drivers available right here. I have a folder called drivers and I can go ahead and double click on them and follow the instructions to go ahead and get them installed. Okay, so the USB driver right there for the Phantom. I can go ahead and get the plugin right here uh, for Phantom as well and this profile as well. So we can get everything going. So very easy. We just go inside the folder and then we can choose to just go ahead and double click and it should install them without too much issues at all. If you're not sure, there is a PDF in here that will take you through here and show you all the different aspects. So one thing I wanna to bring to your attention is Apple has security and preferences that might block these apps from installing correctly. So first thing we need to do is open up our security and privacy and then we need to go ahead and click to make changes. So you would put in your passwords right here and it would unlock right there at the bottom and then you could go ahead and easily install all of these drivers inside your computer. So hopefully you've been able to easily go inside your computer and unlock those security settings so you can go ahead and install those particular drivers for your Phantom, for Logic, and also MainStage. If you did everything correctly, they should show up no problem and work. Now remember, if you are having issues, once again, check the security of your computer to make sure you allowed those particular apps to install, those particular drivers to install, but then also make sure you've updated your main stage and also your Logic Pro X to the latest versions available. All right, take your time with this, be patient, and let's get these drivers installed because there's so much more to show you how the Phantom integrates with the software such as Apple Logic and Apple Mainstage. All right, you guys take care and we'll talk to you later.